it was nice actually. We've been trying to get it together for a while, and um, and yeah, I mean, of course, that 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 famous, much used and sampled drum sound of John Bonham's was recorded in this hallway, and uh, it was the sort of um, the the benchmark, which which you know that was the sound which which we were often you know so many people strive for, and uh, massive big natural sound uh, but controlled sort of big but controlled so yeah and, and it's 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 quite interesting well nice it felt like bloody it felt like bloody work actually <laughs> um i've just having just done a, lo a long tour it, it uh, uh yeah but it's you know it's great it's it's, it's good fun yeah and and it was uh I'd be very interested to see how this turns out. The sound was actually brighter uh, than I expected in there and not as um, a much reverberation as I expected. But I think that sort of is captured by the microphones. Uh, and you, don't, you don't actually feel it so much. It sounds loud in there, but it's not quite as, um, as bassy as I thought it would be. It's quite, it's quite, um, quite hard sound. Yeah, I, I, I just felt the the 24 inch, uh, especially this particular one, DW uh, drum. It has a a more controlled uh, low end, so it's, it's it's a nice punchy low end in it. Yeah. Yeah, well, the drums are a tunable instrument, uh, and uh, you know they're they're not just uh, they're not just tubs that. You know, the thick old hod carrying drummer thumps away at the back. Um, uh, you know, we are the conductors of the band, and uh, and uh, we don't just keep time. Uh, we drive the band, and I I would always like to think that uh, the the drums are on our record, so they add to the sound. They don't. They're not just part of the noise that uh, just keeps time. It's sort of an old-fashioned view, but I mean, a lot of people are subscribing to it. Um, the old way of recording onto tape, the, the tape has a partic particular characteristics that it, that it gives to the recording. Um, it's not digitized for a start. Uh, and and it, it lends a sort of compression and it's this soft, fatter sound. I know the Foo Fighters um, just recorded uh, their new album on tape. I know Tom Petty always records on tape on, uh, using two-inch old-fashioned tape machines and um, I think it's just the fact they do sound better. They have more character, they're fatter and, and, and they're softer on the ear. No, I think you just had to get the right sound, tune them right, mic them right. I, I, you know, we didn't use, we found in the end we didn't use too many mics. We started off by using loads and loads of mics and we found that if you got the, those few mics that counted, um, keep it as simple as possible and keep it as natural as possible, yeah. But we didn't, obviously we didn't get the chance to, you know, we didn't have a hundred tracks. We had 16 and then we had 24 and then, you know, then we had 48 with two 24 machines. But so we had to continually bounce down. So you're always really trying to save tracks. So you were, you were being very ergonomically um, optimized. So you, you had to... Um, uh, use what you had, you know, and use it very um, uh, economically. I thought I was going to get more a bass drum, in you know, through the body, um, and it wasn't quite. But it was it was better when I took the headphones off my ears. Um, but it's a good sound. So it's it's quite an it's a controlled, um, quite angry sound here. Yeah, it's nice. I liked it. Well, I, I suppose I just I first heard the band when they out first Led Zeppelin and One came out or Led Zeppelin, and I just the first track blew me away because he was doing all this uh, fancy bass drum stuff which nobody else could do. So, uh, and then of course his technique was fantastic, and on top of which he had a great sound. So, so he really had all the bits in place. Yes, I remember. I think Fonzo just walked on and. Um, 
just sort of tuned and fiddled, and it just sounded like thunder. And uh, and we were like, wow, if the band are you know, as good as the drummer, <laughs> they're going to be massive. And of course they were. You know, he was the best in terms of speed, technique and power and sound. So he, he really had all these ducks in a row. 